O Canada Conversations are a creation of IOM, made available under the Creative Commons 3.0 IGO. Please refer to the text of the audiobook for the copyright mark and the full legal code. Funded by Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. Financé par Immigration, Refugees et Citoyenneté Canada. O Canada Conversations, Dialogue Number 10. Restart Your Career. The following dialogue is related to Unit 7, Employment, from the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. For more information, refer to the following units of the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. 7.9. Options to start your career in Canada. 7.10. The importance of credential evaluation. After a short break, the Canadian Orientation Abroad Facilitator Ali, Obasi, and other refugees come back into the Canadian Orientation Abroad session room. Okay, everyone. In the previous session, we talked about working in Canada. But some of you may have already had a career in your home country. So let us talk about that. I have a question. Yes. What about jobs like welding? Back in my home country, I was a welder. I would like my first job in Canada to be as a welder. You can still pursue your career as a welder in Canada. But keep in mind, that is a regulated job and you will likely need to be certified as a welder in Canada before you can work as one. A first job is not necessarily the job a person will have forever. In the beginning, many people accept a job offer, even if it is below their level of skills, outside their field, or at a salary less than they expected. The most important thing is to start somewhere, to gain experience and build from there. For instance, you may take a transitional job, where you can work at any job to gain Canadian experience and income and practice language while you are waiting to be licensed in a certain field of work. Interesting. I was wondering about this. How can we get a job if we do not speak English or French well enough? Once you are in Canada, you will have a chance to take language classes. Volunteering is a good way to gain some temporary, non-paid Canadian work experience while you build your network. It is also a great chance to practice the language and meet new people. Would you be willing to volunteer? Yes, I need to practice the language. There are also bridging programs that help you get Canadian experience in your field of work learn workplace English or French, and understand workplace culture. What is workplace culture? Workplace culture can include management styles and practices, the way work is organized, and how employees are treated. Understanding Canadian workplace culture can help a person retain a job, feel satisfied at work, and advance in their career. It takes time and experience to learn these skills, but there are programs that can help you. I have heard that in Canada, people shake hands when they meet at work. We do not do that at work in my home country. Exactly. That is a good example of a difference in workplace culture. So, if I want to get back into my field of work, welding, after I learn the language, how do I do it? Being a welder in your home country and being a welder in Canada may be different. If you have a diploma from your home country that is not in English or French, you can try to get it translated and make sure to bring it with you. Once you are in Canada, you will need to have your documents looked at by a credential evaluation agency. Credential evaluation is a process that compares your past work experience to the employment standards established in Canada. What about my work experience as a welder? Can it be recognized too? 
It might be. Your work experience can be evaluated too. Credential evaluation is a way of evaluating your skills, knowledge, work experience, and education from another country to have it recognized in Canada. When you make your CV or resume with your work experience for Canadian employers, include the result of your credential evaluation. It helps Canadian employers understand your qualifications. I see. And does this cost anything? Or can I get this done for free? Well, credential evaluation takes time and costs money. But there are programs that can help cover the costs of the evaluation. And what if I do not have credentials to evaluate, but I want to pursue a career once I am there? Great question. There are a lot of ways to do this. First, depending on your situation, you may want to go back to school. Back to school? Am I not too old? I am 32 years old. No. It is common for people in Canada to go back to school at different times in their lives. They do this to keep their skills up to date or to become qualified for new jobs. So, you have the option of studying at a Canadian school to become qualified to work in your desired job. Really? How would I find a job after school? There are internships where you can work at a short-term, entry-level job in your desired field of work, so you can get more Canadian experience. There are also mentorship programs, which can match you with someone with experience in your desired field of work. That person can share tips and help you meet people in your field of work. I will keep those options in mind. For all of these options, there is more information online. Or you can ask your government-funded organization or your sponsors to direct you to the right resources. Ali, you had said that you are thinking of starting your own business in Canada. Yes, I want to open my own restaurant someday. That is another option to start your career in Canada by developing your own business or being self-employed. There are also services to help you start a business. Just keep in mind that in the beginning, you will have to work to support yourself and your family. Getting the career you want takes time and effort. I understand. It is similar in my own country. Great. Okay, after the break, we will discuss more about working in Canada. See you all then. See you then. End of Dialogue Unit